Life is good 13. 13 love to y'all. You are creation 13. Um, today I want to talk to you about becoming your own teacher. Um, empowering yourself and trusting in yourself and loving yourself. Um, this is one of the most important tools um, in your self-discovery and um, you know discovering your um, spiritual essence and the origin of your um, being itself. You know, it's, it's self-discovery of things. Um, and, you know, becoming aware that you are your own teacher. Um, you know, this is where your higher selves, um, higher self, so on and so forth, um, comes into play. You know, your guides are there um, to help teach you. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's empowering yourself to become that teacher. Um, there's just so many distractions here in this reality um, that keep us from looking within ourselves. You know, we feel we have to um, go look to um, somebody else for um, these uh, teachings. You know, whether it's a, a guru, you know, like, you know, Buddhist um, religion, you know, like Christianity, um, um, Jesus character, you know, so on and so forth. It's it's looking outside yourself, and they're teaching you to look outside yourself, you know. Um, but, you know, you can also learn, too, because one of the things is, is um, you know, as you're learning to be your own teacher, you know, you need to also um, learn from your reality because there's little hints that are spread out, you know, because, you know, if you go to a class, you know, just become more, you know, if you're like Buddha, um, a church or, you know, just um, yoga class or whatever it may be, um, you know, you're, you go there to um, listen. You go there to listen. And, um, you know, you take what stands out and then you go home and you do your self-discovery um, on the knowledge that you received. And then you go and uh, learn how to uh, decipher um, the information you received. Um, and how you decipher things is um, is by looking within yourself and connecting back into yourself. You know, within your library, um, your Akashi records. You know, like, um, look up Akashi records. And, you know, you'll have a whole database of information from your past lives because you have to become aware, you know, that... You know, this is just an avatar body, but your spiritual, your spirit matrix, your consciousness is eternal. So you've experienced tons of things. So you have a huge, huge database, um, an unlimited amount of database um, that has all the information that you need um, to grow um, spiritually. Um, and it's, it's, it's there for you. Um, to discover and that's the only way um, that you're going to be able to truly find um, the answers that you look for um, but yeah it's it's just learn to become empowered um, within yourself and learn to trust and it, that is one of it can be very difficult to trust yourself it can be very difficult to love yourself because we were not taught to do this, you know, we were always taught to look outside ourselves. Um, that we can't trust ourselves because like in, in the religious terms, you know, we can't trust ourselves because, you know, we don't know if demons are involved or Satan, so on and so forth. And, you know, they they always put some kind of fear factor, you know, it's, it just seems like that's always how it is, is that there's always some kind of fear factor um, looking within yourselves, you know, and you have to ask yourself and question yourself, well, why why does everybody fear looking within? Um, because, um, you know, people fear the unknown, you know, that's, that's what you're taught. People fear the unknown because they don't know what is beyond um, this physical reality, you know, this illusion, this matrix reality. Um, people get so lost and trapped um, in this reality, it's just, it's amazing. You know, when I was growing up, I always questioned things, you know, I always, I always looked beyond and I always said, well, why, why do you do this? You know, why do you do that? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? 
And, you know, the answer that I always got was, well, it, it doesn't matter. You just do it anyways. You know, they, they could never give me an answer. Um, they would always just refer to something. Like, if I went to church, they're like, well, you look in the Bible, and Jesus will tell you what you need. But they can never give answers because they were so focused on humanity's teachings. You know, they, they never listened to, I mean, you could call them angels or so on and so forth. They never listened inside themselves, you know, connected back to the heart, back to your soul, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, um, connecting back to the Holy Spirit um, is very important, you know, your spiritual connection. Um, that is how you learn to trust yourself and experience your things. And there's, and one of the things is, is when you look within yourself, you're going to see the reflections that this reality has created for you because not when, not only are you, you looking within yourself, you're looking within your mind. And you are given the opportunity to start transforming your mind and erasing things that are in your mind. This is why um, you can see um, perceived demons or angels, um, shadow figures, um, so on and so forth because these are implanted in your mind, you know, they are um, distractions of the mind and this is your opportunity when you're looking within to start clearing out your mind. You know, this is where the whole clearing thing, clear out your being, um, clear out the attachments, you know, clear, 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 clear. That's why we always talk about clearing, you know, and, and this is also can create a state of confusion because when you're clearing yourselves, um, these beings that you may see or perceive um, can really just be um, part of your um, ego or a growing attachment in the mind. So you're basically you're just kind of like talking to your creation. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite interesting, but um, but it's it, it's true. I mean, you you literally people don't really know what the fourth dimension is or what you know what truly looking inside yourself is it's a humongous structure in itself you know this is why i've been talking about a spirit spiritual matrix you know the spirit realm the fourth dimension because it is a whole other aspect you know it is it is connected to your your mind it is connected to your consciousness it's connected to your soul matrix and the only way that things become uh, perceived physical in that fourth dimension is um, because of the mind, because of the creation, um, because of the programs, and also because uh, of um, past lives as well. Um, this is why you can um, remember your past lives, and then you have to make sure you're not confusing yourself um, with the minds of your previous um, avatar bodies. It's it's a huge it's a huge structure it really is and it, it really is unlimited the more the more I discover things the more you know not only do you not really understand it fully but it, it continues to expand which is where the multidimensional aspect comes into play um, it's it's uncanny it really is and it's it's it really is an awesome experience it really is um, you, it just makes you look at at things differently and just how much you create your reality every second you know you you create it all the time and uh, you know like when you go to sleep um, you're when you're sleeping you're literally creating your reality to experience when you are perceived woken up back into the reality um, it, it just blends and molds itself it's it's amazing it really is but anyways um, you know, it's just learning to trust in yourself, love yourself, listen to yourself, listen to your guides, um, decipher the information, and, you know, and take what you receive and observe on where you want to go in your path. You know, it's you are creating every single aspect of yourself. This whole experience is your experience and yours alone. So, you know, it's, and that is all part of self-discovery. So, self-discovery, trust yourself, love yourself, um, keep learning, keep growing, um, 
connect with Mother Earth, connect with your spiritual self is very important. So I'll go ahead and end on that. If you have any questions, let me know. I love you all very much. Um, keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding. Always look beyond and keep shining bright. So namaste, I'll catch you. I'll talk to you in a little bit.